Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow orange head tomatoes in spider former hydroponic system. While I am starting this experiment, I am going to start the same variety in Aerogodin Harvester Slim and do a side by side comparison. Both spider former and Aerogodin Harvest comes at a similar price range. So let's see if I can make better use of spider former for less cost compared to Aerogodin. I am planning to grow four plants in this spider farmer and two plants in this Aerogarden Harvester Slim. I have grown this variety many times in Aerogarden Harvest models and I found that two plants are the maximum we can grow in harvest models. Even though orange hat stays short, it is going to get wide and bushy. So only two plants can grow comfortably in this slim model. But the spider farmer which comes at the same price range is little bit wide and it can accommodate four plants. So if I can grow four orange head plants successfully in the spider former, that's a big win compared to Aerogarden Harvest. Let's see how this is going to work out and this experiment will turn out. I am placing one seed in each pod and starting with four pods in spider former and two pods in harvest. That's it, both gardens are ready. Harvest with two pods and spider farmer with four pods. Let me call out one thing quickly regarding the nutrition. Aerogarden harvest bowl capacity is 2.6 liters and Aerogarden recommends to add 8 ml of nutrition into this Aerogarden harvest model. I follow the same ratio. The spider farmer hydroponic system bowl capacity is 6 liters. So I'm going to take 4 ml for every 1 liter. So I'm going to add 24 ml of nutrition in this spider former. By the way, as always, I will add water, but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. It's day 5. Germination is really good. I see both seeds germinated in Aerogarden Harvest and the seedlings are coming very nice. Coming to spider former, I see 3 seedlings showing up now. The fourth seed also sprouted but I don't see the seedling yet but I can clearly see the sprouting. Now that I see the seedlings I will start adding nutrition. As I said earlier I will use aerogarden nutrition throughout this growth cycle. It's been 13 days. The seedlings are coming excellent in both aerogarden harvest as well as spider farmer. The plants in the spider former are little bit behind compared to Aerogarden Harvest but they are not bad at all. Hopefully these plants will catch up the growth with the plants in Aerogarden Harvest. It's been 22 days. The seedlings are coming very nice in both gardens. These are the plants in Aerogarden Harvest and these are the plants in spider former. All these plants are looking very healthy and they are growing very well. Now all these plants are looking pretty similar. And the good news is, I see some flower birds on these plants. They are very young, but I can see them clearly. That's a wonderful news. It's day 28. The plants are coming excellent and they started producing lots of flower buds. This is really nice. These plants are looking so compact and they started producing lots of flower buds. So this is really nice. Coming to spider farmer, it's exact same pattern. All these plants are growing at same pace in both spider farmer and aero garden. And they all started producing lots of flower buds. Now I'm going to move these plants to the corners and give them enough space. It's day 33. The plants are coming excellent. Many plants started flowering. These are the plants in Aerogarden Harvest. I see nice flowers here. Coming to Spider Farmer, I see nice flowering here as well. Look at all these beautiful flowers.
I don't see any flowers yet on this plant but they are looking very close I see some started opening up so far all plants are growing at same pace it's day 41 all plants are doing excellent I see some baby tomatoes today these are the plants in Aero Garden and they are showing some baby tomatoes coming to spider farmer I see a few baby tomatoes here as well this is really exciting so far the growth is looking very similar in both gardens it's day 63 all plants are loaded with tomatoes these are the plants in Aero Garden and we can see lots of tomatoes on both plants here Coming to spider farmer, again I see lots of tomatoes here on all four plants. This is all going very well and the plants are still flowering a lot. Same as in Aero Garden, I see lots of new flowering here as well. So all plants are going at pretty much same pace and doing very well. It's day 74. I see a few tomatoes started ripening in Aero Garden harvest. I see the tomatoes ripening only on one plant. The other plant doesn't have any ripening tomatoes. Coming to spider farmer, I see a few tomatoes ripening here as well. And very similar to Aero Garden Harvest, I see ripening tomatoes on only one plant. The remaining three plants doesn't have any tomatoes ripening yet, but the tomatoes are being developed very well. They are growing very nice while the new tomatoes are still showing up. The plants are still flowering and I see baby tomatoes all over so that's really good. So far this is all going very well and all plants are growing at same pace as of now. Day 92 plants are doing excellent and I see a bunch of tomatoes are ripened and ready to harvest. Some of them even getting split. I'm going to harvest these tomatoes today or tomorrow. Plants are still doing excellent. I see some new development showing up that's really a good sign so they are getting ready for second crop this plant is doing even better I see lots of flowering already and I see a few baby tomatoes as well so this is all going very well and this plant also has a bunch of tomatoes ready now coming to the plants in spider farmer these plants are doing even better I see lot more tomatoes here compared to Aero Garden Harvest and these tomatoes also looking so beautiful with a super bright orange and they are well ripened all these bright orange tomatoes are ready to harvest these are the other two plants uh, these plants also doing great i see lots of well ripened tomatoes and i see lots of new development on these plants and they started flowering so this is all going really good i'm going to harvest all these tomatoes and clean the gardens then set them up for second crop these plants are not going to stop anywhere as i'm seeing new development they are definitely getting ready for second crop so changing the water is going to help them i'll do the same thing here in aero garden as well i'm going to harvest these tomatoes clean the garden and set them up for second crop while the remaining tomatoes are getting into ripening stage it's day 96 Lots of tomatoes have been ready for a long time, but I'm not getting a chance because a lot of my Aero Gardens already loaded with so many tomatoes. But these tomatoes started getting spoiled. Some of them getting cracks and they started getting mold as well. So I'm going to start harvesting them now. Whereas the tomatoes got a split, they start getting mold and the taste is also get spoiled. Wow, lot of tomatoes got splits. Shoot, I should have reacted a little faster. Let me give it a taste test. Yeah, at least tomato taste is good. It's not spoiled as I thought. Here is one more tomato that got split. This one is good too. Coming to spider farmer, lots of tomatoes are ready here as well. Here I don't see a lot of splits. 
I still see some splits, but not a lot. Here is one, and here is one. Yeah, test is pretty good from these plants as well. Let me try one more. Yeah, test is same. I don't see any difference between Aero Garden and Spider Farmer. So anyway, this is all working out very well. I'm getting lots of tomatoes and this is going very well. Now it's time to start harvesting all these tomatoes and set the plants up for second crop. But I won't be able to harvest all these tomatoes because I can't use all of them. But I'm going to harvest as needed in next few days. I think that's pretty much from this experiment. This clearly proved that I can grow tomatoes very well in Spider Farmer and especially for this particular variety, Orange Hat, I can grow four plants in Spider Farmer compared to just two plants in Aero Garden Harvest. So far, Aero Garden Harvest is my favorite to grow any micro dwarf tomatoes, but Spider Farmer is my next choice. This system proved a second time that I can grow tomatoes very well, especially the micro dwarf tomatoes. And I'm going to continue growing tomatoes in the spider farmer. Especially orange head tomatoes, I can happily go with spider farmer because I can grow four plants instead of two plants in Aero Garden. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.